Hey guys, uh, today I'd like to show you some cool stuff you can do with uh, dry ice. Now, some some things I can't show you in here, but just to give you a brief description of how to make a dry ice bomb, you take a two liter bottle or or like a, I don't have one I don't have one around, so I can't show you. But take like a two liter bottle or a three liter bottle and you uh, fill it up a little over halfway with warm water, not cold water, and you put in some mashed up dry ice, um, and then you screw on the cap and you get back. Now, if it doesn't blow up, I recommend throwing something at it before trying to pick it up, but if you pick it up, be careful, and you may want to chuck it, you know, don't try to kick it, because it could blow up on you. I've seen it happen, it's not good. Now, what I'm showing you today, it's a little safer, a little more home friendly. Um, and by the way, you don't make you don't make you don't make dry ice bombs indoors. So don't do that either. It's bad, of course. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to make a little bubble machine. Not really a machine, but how to make bubbles using dry ice. Now. You want to use hot water, like I mentioned before. Now we got this right here. And then we take our dry ice. And people say you're not supposed to pick it up with your bare hands. I do it all the time. It's fine. Now, uh, we got our dry ice and our warm water. And then all you have to do is take some hand soap. Oh, jeez. Alright, you take some hand soap. And there you go, you got bubbles. And the cool thing is, is if you can see, when these bubbles pop, they kind of release vapor. So you can take it and And it's just, it's really fun to just, you know, play around with. You know, every time you pop the bubbles, the vapor comes out. And, you know, just fun. Good for kids, you know, birthday parties, whatever. And, uh, it's, uh, fun science. Now, another thing you can do, I'm just going to put this out of the way, is you take, like, a, um, middle fork or spoon and there's got to be some scientific explanation to this because I don't understand it at all now and it just it just makes the spoon vibrate or if you drop it in the sink makes all sorts of vibrating noises. Um, I think it has, it's something to do with metal. I, I think metal is the only thing that works. Um, this water's getting cold. Actually, I'm going to try something here. Where's the... Here it is. You've already seen the bowl. Going to have to rinse that out later. Just put it all in here. Fuck it. I have no use for this dry ice except to entertain you.
try something new. Fish soap. More. This is probably a waste of dish soap, but whatever. Maybe if I spread out the dry ice. The water is draining. <laughs> yeah, you anytime you want to stop it, you can. I'm just rolling around here. So well, it's just a fun way of making vapor bubbles with uh with dry ice. Okay. Pull the plug on this. Hey, it's in the drain. Alright, you've probably seen it now.